Hi, Marilyn, Byron, Jose, and Stephanie. Thank you so much for being on time. How was your weekend? I hope that you have enjoyed it. Let's see, Magdal is joining. Let me know if you're just going to be listening, if you're already at home, if you're still driving. As you may know, uh, hi, how are you doing, Marilyn? Yeah, and uh, it was super good the weekend, my weekend. Oh, that's nice. Are you already at home or are you still at work? No, already at home. Okay, that's nice. Thank you so much for letting me know. And the rest of you, I hope that you're ready. Uh, good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you today? I'm great. I'm ready at home. All right. Oh, that's great. That's yeah. great. You already have dinner? Uh, yes. So you ready for the class? <laughs> yes, I'm ready. Great. Right. What, what about you, teacher? How was the traffic? Uh, um, it was mm, good. Good. <laughs> Weird, but it was good. <laughs> what is good? <laughs> uh, uh, it took like um, uh, it took me like forty five minutes to get home from uh from Santa Tecla to home. Uh, mm -hmm. that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I did something illegal, but <laughs> I I wanted to be early here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because they um they enabled the 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 third lane, but I I think they did it from I don't know maybe from the outdoor market I don't know because I I let's see I was driving through the Boulevard Sur. Mm -hmm. I started to drive to Los Toros from Carimar, and. Uh, the third lane was not enabled and then i saw um an officer he was driving down with some other cars following him and i said this is really unfair <laughs> how or where did they open the so then i i saw one space and the chance to get into and i did it mm -hmm. <laughs> it was dangerous i shouldn't do that but I want it to be early. I'm tired of this traffic. This is a nightmare every day. Always is is stressing. Yes, and it's every day. I, I don't know why are they taking too long to do something and or to get this solved. It's too much. But yeah, besides that, uh, everything is okay. With a regular weekend, I rest a lot. I hope everybody of you also had a good weekend. And I was checking the platform and mm -hmm, more than half of the group is not um, is not um, done with the exercises. So that's kind of worrying. I think I, I finish it. Yes, you finish it. And like uh, maybe five, besides you, five more has finished the platform. But yes, most of the group, please, let me know if you need any kind of help so you can finish your exercises and you don't have any issues. But, and tomorrow we're going to uh, finish teaching. Yes, tomorrow we finish the module. So we're going to continue with our reviews. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. And the encuesta de satisfacción es mañana también. Así es que listos con eso y espero que estén siempre temprano. Y puedan hacer la encuesta a la hora casi siempre es a las 8 y 20. Así que bueno, traten de finalizar los que aún están pendientes la plataforma y si tienen algún problema, dificultad técnica o con algún ejercicio, háganos saber eh, a la brevedad para poderles eh, ayudar. Porque si es algo técnico, algo que la plataforma no reconoce, hay que, hay que pedir ayuda a soporte técnico. Es algo en lo que no les puedo ayudar yo más que 
presionando. Es lo único que puedo hacer. Eh, okay, so let's start with the clauses. Today we're going to continue uh, reviewing and practicing the connectors. I prepared this material for you and I sent it very early in the morning in case that you wanted to have it printed. And we're going to start with the clauses of contrast. We studied them the last Friday, but today we're going to practice them again. Um, let's see, we practice although, even though, and however, but we will review we and we're going to add more. Any volunteer to read about the classes of contrast? Me, teacher. Thank you, Magdian. Um, clauses of contracts, although, even though. We can use although, even though, at the beginning or at the middle of a sentence is followed by a clause, subject plus verb. We never use comma after although or even though. An example, although or even though we had a bad game, we won. We won't although or even though we had a hard game. However, we use however to, con to connect two different sentences. We normally use however at the beginning of the second sentences after full dot, dot or semi semicolon. However, it's always followed by a comma. We didn't like the hotel. However, we had a fantastic time. Fantastic time. We went to the beach. However, the weather was perfect. Wasn't perfect. We can also use however at the end of the sentence. We didn't like the hotel. We had a fantastic time, fantastic time, however. Continue, teacher. Yes, to finish Despite. with. Mm -hmm. I finished with uh, however. Uh huh. And yes, despite and in spite despite. of is part of the contrast. Mm -hmm. Okay, despite, in spite of. Despite and in spite of are normally followed by a noun or a ing verb. They can go at the beginning or the middle of the sentence. Despite, in spite of the rain, we went to the concert. They arrived despite, in spite of living very, very early. We can use a clause subject plus verb after despite, in spite of, plus the fact that we went out despite or in spite of the fact that it was raining. Okay, thank you so much for reading. And uh, yes, as you may remember, these are classes of contrast. This is contrasting ideas. And uh, so we have that although, even though, uh, despite or in spite of are quite similar. But in the case of however, this is going to be always, um, it, it doesn't connect two ideas. It's, um, as, it, as you can see here, it says um, that, Yes, it connects two different sentences. Here it says, and we normally use it at the beginning of a second sentences, but it can be placed in the middle or at the end. Okay, as you can see here, it is after the full stop or in the second sentence. Es cuando normalmente van a ver, however, al principio de la segunda oración, 
uh, después de un punto y aparte, after a full stop. So you can see, however, at the beginning of the second sentence, siempre de la segunda oración. Eh, no lo vemos en la primera, sino que en la segunda. Puede estar en el principio, en el medio o al final. Esa es la diferencia con however y que si conecta dos eh, oraciones diferentes después de haber visto que tal vez un punto y aparte. Eh, y ese es el review. También van incluidas en los ejercicios que vienen más adelante. Eh, y nuevo, vamos con clauses of purpose. As you remember, they are used to contrast information to show or express purpose. We're going to study them right now. And with the clauses of purpose, we have a to plus infinitive. The most common way to express purpose in English is to plus infinitive. Esa es la, la forma más común de expresar eh, propósito, el objetivo, el para qué o por qué. Es con el infinitive, el verbo infinitivo, eh, agregándole la partícula to. Eh, volunteer to read about the clauses of purpose. Uh, me teacher. Thank you, Manuel. Okay, uh, to infinity, the most common way to express purpose in English is to inf plus infinity. The student worked hard to pass the test in order to so as to plus infinity, in order to or so as to plus infinity are more common in formal English. Mainly in writing the neg negative forms in order not to, and so as not to plus infinity. We were asked to stay in order to finish the project. He left from early in order, in order not to be late. He used a plastic hammer so as to avoid damage. They worked quickly so as not to wake to wake up the children. We can also use the structure in order for someone something to do something. We need to mobile mobilize mobilize the media in order for the government to listen to us. Three different surgeries were necessary in order for him to survive. So that plus clause. We can also use so that plus subject plus verb to express purpose. We normally use modal verb with this connector. Cool, can, good, etc. We left early so that we could part nearly the center. He made some Flash cards so that it will be easier for his moon to remember the extension. For plus moon, we can also use for plus noun for to express purpose. We went to bar for a drink. Would you like to go to the bar for a room? We can use for plus ing bar instead of two plus infinity. To talk about the purpose of an object or action when use the bare use or when imply it. This knife is used to cut cutting current uh, plastic school uh, for educating, not for entertaining. In case plus close, to express purpose, we can also use in case plus subject plus pair. We use this form to talk about precautions. When we do something because something no warrant might happen. Take, take the umbrella in case it rains. Take the umbrella so that you won't, won't get wet if it Rains. I won't tell on in case she tells everyone else. Okay, thank you so much, Manuel, for reading. Thank you. 
Okay, as you can see, there are many classes of purpose here, but um, the important thing to remember is what they uh, are placed before or um, what do they follow? What is what they follow? Um, siempre va a ir, um, la mayoría es esto más infinitive. Y, por ejemplo, in order to, so as to, eh, son similar en, en, en significado. Es como decir para tal cosa, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál es el propósito de, como dice, clauses of purpose? Y se, aquí nos indica que vamos a escribir in order to más infinitivo. O si usamos so as to, luego el verbo en, en infinitivo. Quiere decir que no lo vamos a modificar, agregar S, ED, ni nada por el estilo. Eh, son más comunes en formal English, en, en formal, el in order to, or el so as to, eh, principalmente en la escritura. Si es negativo, para decir como para que no pase esto o para evitar algo, eh, se le agrega el not y aquí nos dice cómo se forma. In order not to y luego pues el verbo en infinitivo o so as not to y luego pues infinitivo, el verbo sin modificarse. Y aquí tenemos algunos ejemplos y we were asked to say to stay in order to finish the product, el, el proyecto, perdón, the project. Um, eh, nos dice para qué, para qué les pidieron que se quedaran para terminar el proyecto. Ese era el propósito de quedarse para lo que les pidieron. Eh, también eh, en este caso se puede usar esta misma estructura, el in order for someone or something to do some, something. Okay? Entonces ven que aquí está in order to pero también se puede utilizar para eh, decir que alguien o algo haga son algo. Pero entonces en este caso se pone in order for. Okay? In order for y luego se menciona ese algo o ese alguien. Okay? A diferencia del in order to, después del to va un verbo. Se fijan acá, in order to finish, in order or as, so as to avoid. Aquí estamos con un verbo, pero eso se puede utilizar también eh, esta estructura, el in order to, pero para persona o cosa sería for. No vamos a poner to, sino que for. We need to mobilize the media in order for the government to listen to us. Entonces, luego del for, vamos a mencionar a la persona o, la, el, o el objeto, ¿verdad? En este caso es el gobierno. Y luego el to, el verbo en infinitivo y el complemento, como está acá. Eh, so that más una clause que ya dijimos que puede ser una oración. A eso nos referimos siempre que, que mencionamos el clause. Eh, so that plus clause. We can also use so that plus subject plus verb to express purpose. We normally use a modal verb with this connector. El so that es también decir para qué. Significa lo mismo, solamente que en esta o normalmente se utiliza con los modal auxiliaries eh, para expresar alguna posibilidad, ¿verdad? Es como aquí. We left early so that we could park near the center. Okay. He made some flashcards so that it would be easier for his mom to remember the instructions. Entonces, el SOTAT eh, acompañado, este conector usualmente va conectado de un modal auxiliary. Esas son las, las diferencias principales en estos conectores para expresar propósito. For quizás es el más de los comunes, el, el más común que utilizamos para expresar propósito, el for plus noun. We can also use for plus noun to express purpose. Como decía aquí, we went to the bar for a drink. Okay, ese es el, el más común. Um, eso es cuando va con un noun, that, that's okay, ¿verdad? Aquí el noun es una bebida, eh, un, ¿qué? Una maratón, un, un poco de ejercicio, etcétera. Se usa for plus ing verb 
en vez de un infinitivo, to talk about the purpose of an object or an action. Cuando vaya seguido de, de, de una acción, el for, entonces este verbo se va a modificar a gerundio en, en ing cuando el propósito es seguido o expresado en una acción o en un verbo. Por ejemplo, this knife is used for cutting plastic. Okay. Aquí vemos el, el for y luego el verbo ya modificado en ing. ¿Cuál es el, ¿Para qué se usa el cuchillo? Para cortar plástico. That's el purpose uh, con for. Si es for plus noun, no pasa nada. For plus verb, ese verbo va a ir con ing. Y el último que vamos a estar eh, practicando es in case. In case se utiliza, eh, también está entre las de propósito, pero esta se utiliza cuando es para tomar alguna precaución. Eh, cuando vamos a hacer algo porque algo que no queremos que pase podría pasar. Eh, entonces usamos in case. Take the umbrella in case it rains, ¿ok? En caso de que llueva. ¿Para qué va a llevar la, la sombría? Es por si acaso llueve, in case. Um, para eso sirve el in case, para conectar como el propósito. Y esas serían las eh, de conectores para propósito. Y vamos con las de reason. Ya vimos las de contrast como un review, porque solo empezamos a ver el viernes y lo practicamos. Pero vamos a seguir hoy. Ya le agregamos la de eh, propósito. Ahora vamos a ver de razón. El por qué. Eh, is reason. Vamos a hacer un poquito más grande. Creo que... Ok. Closest of reason. A volunteer to read. Me, teacher. Thank you, Emerson. Closest of reason. When we want to explain the reason why something happened or why someone did something, we use a clause of reason introduced by a conjunction as, since, because, or a known phrase introduced by because of, due to, owing to, or on account of. Two. Yes. Okay, because. We use because before a clause, subject plus verb. It can be used at the beginning or at the end of a sentence. At the end is more common. A comma is used when the clause of reason is at the beginning of the sentence. Uh, for, exa for example, we didn't go because it was raining heavily. Because the event was canceled, canceled they lost their deposits. Okay. As, ah, okay, okay. Yeah, continue. Ah, okay. As, since. We use as and since in a very similar way to because. They are followed by subject plus verb and can be used at the beginning or at the end of the sentence. However, as and since are more formal expressions and more common in written than in spoken English. For example, the government urged people to stay indoors since, or as, more rain is forecast for the entire weekend. As, since the roads were blocked, the victims had to be rescued by helicopter. Because of, we use because of before a noun. The concert was postponed because of the heavy rain. Due to, owing to, on account of. We can also use due to, owing to, on account of, before a noun. They mean because of, but are at more formal. The event was canceled due to owning to or on account of lack of interest. I couldn't enjoy the meal due to or owing to or on account of their constant arguing. Oh, thank you so much for reading about 
these classes of reason. So this one, I think that because and as and since are the most common, right? And as you can see, uh, the other ones are like more used in formal writing. When you want to uh, maybe send an email or you are writing a paragraph, a review, etc. Uh, you can use these ones to to owing to on account of in order to be like more formal. And then clauses of result. A volunteer to read about the clauses of result. Okay, we use clauses of result to talk about the result of an action or situation. So we can use so plus subject plus verb at the end of a sentence to mean and this is why. Okay, so you have the meaning here so, meaning this is why, explaining a reason. For example, we didn't have anything to do, so we decided to rent a film. I worked very hard today, so I am exhausted. For this reason, we normally use for this reason at the beginning of a sentence, we use comma after it. Example, rent is very expensive in Boston. For this reason, we decided to move to Ohio. He threatened to commit suicide for this reason, we kept him under surveillance, okay? Now, as a result, consequently, uh, yes, Emerson? Uh, what's the meaning of treated? Treated Treaten es amenazó. Uh, uh -huh. Clara, yes, sería el amenazó. Amenazó con cometer suicidio. Por esta razón, lo mantenemos bajo vigilancia. Ah, okay, thank you. You're welcome. And then, as a result, consequently, therefore. As a result, consequently, and therefore are more formal and more common in written language. They are normally used at the beginning of a sentence followed by a comma. For example, the flight was delayed due to the storm. As a result, many passengers complained. Animals were his only true passion. Therefore, or consequently, he decided to study biology. We can also use consequently and therefore in my position, in mid position, sorry before the verb, after B as the main verb, or after the first auxiliary verb. For example, we have here, you have been a real asset to the company. We have therefore, or consequently decided to promote you. Okay. Um, so I'm not expecting you to remember all these rules and punctuations and placement of these clauses. Um, so for this reason, we're going to do this in group. Maybe one of you can be like um, checking here or you can decide in group. Maybe some of you remember a couple of things and some other remember different things of what we have been uh, reading here. And I sent this material to the WhatsApp group in the morning, like around 8 or 7 a.m. So that you can maybe, if you had the possibility of how it printed, um, maybe you are old school like me, I like to have the things printed and take notes on paper. So I hope you have it. And also, um, if you are working on your computer or in the cell phone, you just have to click on the link in order to get to the exercises related to this topic. Mm, and let's see, you just click here and it will be directed to the exercises related to this topic. We have three exercises. We have exercise one, and this is um, the one that you see here. You see the 
read the sentence and you click on the drop down menu and select the response or the complement for these uh, sentences. When you finish, you can check your answers here and then go to exercise number two. And this, uh, this exercise is similar, but a multiple choice is like different. It's a multiple choice and the previous one was a, a uh, with the drop down menu, but here you have to click directly to the best option. And finally, the exercise number three is um, a reading. Uh, so you have here the paragraph and you have the options here in this box. So you have three exercises to complete. I'm going to stop sharing and create the breakup rooms for you to complete the three exercises. right now oh no uh, uh, i don't have uh you're you're on the cell phone too yeah let me uh check in the other room maybe uh Magdiel usually share a screen. Let me check and if that's the case, I'm going to move you and Aymara to the other room. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Are you working individually? Yes, teacher. I'm working on the link. Oh, okay. Um, is anybody going to share the screen or? Yes, I, 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 I can, I can share. Okay. Thank you. Um... Let me know if, can you see? Yes. Yes. Okay. I did number one and number two. What do you think about that? The number one. There are three options. It's okay for me. Yeah, it's okay Do too. It okay. 
Number two. Mm. Therefore, a lot has been done. We need to continue. I I don't know. Maybe it's uh even though, but I don't know. What about the others? What do you think? Even though. Yeah, could be. Yeah, even though. Says you need to find a more user friendly names. You need to find more user friendly names. People can access access it more quickly. Uh, so that. So that. Yes. Mm. Do uh, no, 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 no. Um, I think uh, it's a uh, Owen two. Owen two. Yeah. I went to I went to the weather, weather conditions. conditions. The, the fire, fire could, 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 could not control. be contained. That's that's good. <clears throat> When your arch, when your arch with your partner, you may say things that you don't really want to say. Um, for this reason. For this, uh, yeah, for this reason, you should choose your words carefully before you speak. Yeah, for this reason. For this reason, you should choose your words carefully before you speak. Yes. I'm going to say only a few words. Mm -hmm. mm. So it's not to take. Mm. So I'm not to take. Then we'll do it. I'm not sure. It's, I think uh, I think um, so. Not so. So not to take. So not to take. Yeah. Okay. Take, let's take the risk. <laughs> I'm going to say only a few words. Words. So not to take. Para no tomar mucho tiempo. Uh -huh. De tu, de tu tiempo. So, yeah. so not to take. They, they didn't find any proof or illegal activity, activity. And, and despite this, despite this, uh huh.
to spy this. Yeah. So it said they didn't find any proof of illegal activity, and despite this, the investigation with regard to C companies was terminated. Okay. I recorded the match. Mm, so that so that we want to watch it again. Okay. Or, or, ah, que está diciendo que grabó el partido. So that we want, queremos ver. Ajá. Ajá. Sí, so that. Como para, para que. Because of, es que creo que el because of está, ajá, está dando una razón, pero. No sé, no me suena mucho. Because of, we want to watch. Y yo again. sabía, yo he escuchado más el because of como para decir por culpa de. Mm, o debido a. I, I think is in case. I don't know. Ah, o in case. Mm, en caso, in case we want. Uh -huh. In case. Démosle in case, pues. Ajá, sí, tiene razón. Y lo que va a pasar es que vamos a reprobar, nada más. No. no. <risa> 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 ah, es como. Number five mm. is in case. Yeah. Okay. Nobody's perfect. Um, nobody's Therefore. perfect. Uh -huh. Therefore, nobody's Therefore. decisions are perfect either. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, since since yeah Why? since you are not, uh, porque es desde que ya no me no me estás escuchando yo deja, uh, I just stop talking um, since you are not listening to me I'll just stop talking poner las opciones otra vez Because of. Mm. No, yo pienso que está bien eso. Sí. Things también es como decir because. Pero, ajá. Uh -huh. Yes, es similar. Es como por qué y también es como desde. Eso depende cómo se esté utilizando, pero ahí para dar razón es el mismo significado que because. Porque, o por esta razón, por la razón que no me estás escuchando. Voy a dejar de hablar. Yeah, so since it's good. Mm -hmm. I will just uh, dejar de hablar, mm -hmm. sí. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll finish. You can check your answers. Ah, un ocho. Eight of ten. Y ahí, abajo, si ustedes le dan scroll down, les dice cuáles están buenas y la explicación. Eso eh, vean ahí la 2, Even though, ahí nos explica por qué estuvo bien seleccionar Even though. Eh, eh, para expresar contraste podemos utilizar esto y esto y esto y así. Veamos cuáles salió mala y por qué. Son dos, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Cuatro is correct, five is correct, six is incorrect. Correct answer is so as not to. Mm -hmm. So as not to, we can use to in order to and so as to plus infinitive to express purpose. The negative form. Uh-huh. Uh. Negative forms are in order not to and so as not to, plus infinitive. Mm -hmm. Entonces estaba, eh, eh, faltaba el, el, el as to, like in negative, right? We can uh -huh, also use era. word, uh -huh. Y ahí porque okay. quizás era, era algo positivo que iba a ser él, que no iba a hablar mucho, y ahí lo usamos como negativo. Ajá, uh -huh. 
so not to, eh, no era la opción, sino que era so as not to, I see. The negative mm. forms are in order not to and so as not to. Estaba como bien la, 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 la idea del so not to, pero estaba incorrecta por la cuestión de que si es negativo, tiene que ser so as not to. Y ahí le faltaba el as, as mm -hmm. to. Mm -hmm. yes. En las siete sí me equivoqué. <laughs> Eh, Creo que cons... a <risas> oh, despite is... Ah, porque despite, ¿qué tipo de clause es? ¿Qué tipo de conector es? ¿Qué conecta? Para empezar, contraste. Contraste, ajá. Y en esta estaba, they didn't, ajá, era como, no encontraron pruebas. Entonces, ¿qué sucedió? terminaron la investigación. Entonces ahí no era contraste, sino que expresar consecuencia. El resultado o lo que vino a suceder, ¿verdad? Como resultado de la oración anterior. Entonces ahí sí era de eh, una de consequence, de consequence, no de contraste. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh. Y esas eran las dos malas, pero ahí pueden seguir revisando. Ahí dice, pues, la explicación y por eso me gusta este ejercicio, porque dice, ¿por qué me equivoqué? Ah, ok. Por así es, sí, es, y ahí le explica el qué. And now you can move to exercise two. Vamos a ver cómo nos va en el dos. Pero bastante bien, porque creo que solo de lo que se acordaban o lo que les decía el corazón, ¿verdad? O no estaban leyendo la, la, la piria. But very good. Ocho de diez es súper bueno. Vamos a ver el 2. Internet access has been growing exponentially across the country. However, however, He became a very nice and well-educated man, having a very difficult job, in spite of In spite of mm -hmm. Having a very difficult job. Scientists have discovered a new technique measuring the speed at which the universe is expanding. Mm. Two. Four. Yo estoy más con four. Four. Pero... Scientists have discovered a new technique for this already the speed of which is uh, Ajá, es que creo que ajá, el four es como para un beneficio personal y el two es para un beneficio general, creo. No estoy seguro. Ya démosle tú, pues. No, démosle por habían dos, por favor. <laughs> Vaya, por favor. No, no. 
The world is becoming a global community. Mm. Because of since or since since, since. Uh, it's similar means uh -huh. since and because of. Since, porque dice advances. Uh -huh. Since technological advances, the world is becoming a global community. Community, sí. Clever people ask better questions. And as a result, they get better answers. Clever people, people ask better questions. And as a result, they get better answers. Yes. Mm -hmm. Next page. Okay. Y siguiente página. En la segunda página te va a los resultados. Some questions have been closed. Uh, New Orleans. Mm, due to? Due to. A, mm -hmm. Así es tu pantalla. Ok. He asked a stupid question. <laughs> so that I gave him a stupid answer. So that. <laughs> so that. So that. Sí. Como decir por eso. Mm -hmm. The company had to close down the decline in profits. Oh. Mm. How win two? How win two? Karaoke, how win two? Okay. Oh, oh, Okay. It was very late. We decided to have a room service and watch a movie. Mm. Us. Us. Uh -huh. It was very late. As it was very late. Sí. No, we, decided. we decided to have room service and watch the movie. Take the map. Take the map. Uh, we get lost. In case. In case. Mm -hmm. In case we get lost. Uh -huh. En caso que nos perdamos. Ta, 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 ta. Ocho, 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 siempre hay una mala tienda. However, Ajá, however okay. está bien. In despite of, uh -huh. two. 
four. Four out of two. four. Hey, Sims. Ah, creo que aquí nadie le atinó. Sí. Because of. In these sentences, we need to express the reason because technological advances are the reason for the world to, to become a global community. In order to express reason, we can use because of plus non. El non aquí era technological advances. Uh -huh. No se puede usar since o as porque ellos deberían ser seguidos por una cláusula, que es el sujeto más el verbo. Mm. Mm, reglitas. Mm. Bueno. Okay. As a result, so, do to, so ah, that, yeah. so. We need to express result because giving a stupid answer is the result of being asked a stupid question. Uh -huh. El único conector para el resultado que tenemos es so. Podemos usar so más el sujeto más el verbo al final de la oración que significa este es el porqué. Uh, so that es un conector para propósito, no para resultado. Mm. Mm -hmm. So I can hear. Yeah, so that es cuando queremos eh, expresar cuál fue el, el propósito. Y en esa, el resultado de que era para resultado, él me pregunta algo tonto, yo le doy una respuesta tonta. Es como lo que resulta. De... <risa> ah, entonces, para, para, para resultado, so. Para propósito, so that. Oh, no está muy claro esa todavía. Ah, ¿cómo yes, no? sure. yes, ok. Digamos que el so that es como decir entonces o por lo tanto, y el so es, es eh, no, permítame, para, perdón, es como decir para, o, o, ajá, para, el so that es como decir para tal, o, ajá, y el so es eh, por lo, entonces. Él me preguntó algo estúpido, entonces le di una respuesta tonta. Es el so, como decir entonces. No. Como resultado. Uh -huh. Y el so that sería como para qué. Por ejemplo, decir, I, I give you these exercises so that you can practice. Pensábamos que era por eso. Yo pensaba que era por eso. No. Ajá, es, es, pero es el, como el so that es para un propósito. Entonces, eh, como decir, I give you this exercise, le di este ejercicio. ¿Cuál es el propósito o para qué? So that you can practice, para que puedan practicar. Y el so that tiene que llevar, después de so that, tiene que haber un sujeto y un verbo, como una oración completa después del so that. Y es para expresar eh, propósito, so that. So, solito es resultado. Para un resultado. Ok. And this is the last exercise. Pero igual lo hicieron súper bien porque solo dos. De, y ajá, la diferencia es ahora que so y so that ya quedó más claro. Es un poquito confuso porque es. Eh, se parecen bastante, pero las usos son diferentes. Y este es un reading. Filling the gaps in the text with words from the list. Aquí este van a ir llenando con palabras de acá. Y veamos, son... Once. ¿Será que la van a reutilizar? No, ¿verdad? Solo una vez cada una. Aquí está therefore y ya está tachada. Uh -huh. Y solo una vez cada uno.
Mm. Okay. Let me see. We we were the greatest fan of Daft Rockers, and therefore we were really looking forward to going to their concert. It had been announced that it would probably be the band's last concert. And hmm, as a result, thousands people, thousands people had bought their tickets online much in advance. Creo que as a result. Number one. Uh -huh. As a result, thousands of people had bought their tickets online much in advance. Mm, they wouldn't, they miss, wouldn't the, miss the opportunity. Mm. No estoy seguro si es alto. Yes. No, although is para contraste. Ah. Mm -hmm. So. So that in case. In case they so didn't. That need, um, thousand people had. Ah, yeah. Off. In case. Sí, porque continúa la oración. Uh, el online much in advance in case they wouldn't miss the opportunity. Mm, creo que sería in alguna case. de propósito. Tiene que ser una de propósito porque dice que muchas personas compraron sus tiquetes con anticipación, con mucha anticipación, como para no, no perderían de oportunidad. Yes, no Ajá, pero va con auxiliar, ¿verdad? Ajá, puede ser in case... Mm -hmm. Remember, ¿cuál es el con auxiliar? Ay. I don't remember exactly, teacher. No I know that it's in my mind, but I don't remember the exact. Eh, exactly word. Okay. So that teacher. So yeah. that use a subject plus verb to express purpose. We normally use a modal verb mm -hmm. with this connector. Yes. So that. Este propósito y va seguida por el auxiliar. So that they would miss the opportunity. Uh -huh. The opportunity. As soon as the online sales were open, we bought our, our tickets and we even bought extra tickets in case or in, in case, case, uh -huh. in case uh -huh. some of your some, some of, of our, our friends our also friends want to go wanted to go uh -huh. sí. what phrase in case. In case. La basta chando, ¿verdad?
Sí, pero se mueve. Mm. Bueno. Some of our friends. Sí, sí, son bastante. Bueno. O si no cerra esa, esa publicidad de esta cabaña, el botón de la esquina. Uh -huh. No, no, el botón de más a la de tu derecha. A tu derecha, a tu derecha. Está la, está la X. Uh -huh. una, X una X negra. Eso. Mm, sí, pues tienes que mover. Ah, es que es bastante. Sí. Sí. Bueno. Entonces dice. Sí. Sí, 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 no, no, sí, sí, no. Some of our friends also wanted to go. Nothing could go wrong. Or so or so we thought. Mm. However, 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 two hours before the concert, no. Mm, puede ser porque ahí termina en todo y hay un punto. Mm -hmm. However, however, two hours before the concert, a terrible storm. Ah, ajá, puede ser. Sí, sí, however. However. Uh -huh. However, two hours before the concert, a terrible storm hit the city and we were informed that it had been canceled. Do it too. Do it too. Mm -hmm. The adverse weather condition. Uh -huh. Due to the adverse weather conditions. The adverse weather conditions. We were we in were. shock. We quickly went online. Um, esperen, este un enviaron mensaje. En eso de adverse weather, no. We were in shock. We quickly went online. So, so as to. So as to. Yes, could be so. Mm -hmm. so Because so is, 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 this is why. Like, ¿Por qué? Mm -hmm. say, we quickly we <clears throat> quickly went online so see when the concert mm -hmm. so no. el so solito es de consecuencia no creo ah. que puede ser so so that ya lo usaron el soldado. Ah, de no arriba está. Lo... No, es tú. Es que es como de sorpresa, como de. No, como de. Fui rápidamente. Eh, a ver online. Web, y vi cuando el concierto. Fue eh, recién. Recién hizo as to see when the concert. Ah. Sí. Ah, ajá. Ah, ay, que como es. A mí me parece aquí tachado. Ajá, pero es que es que raro, porque ajá, es como para qué fueron a ver online, porque ajá, dice we were shocked, we quickly, we quickly went online, como rápidamente ah, fuimos en línea, a, uh -huh. se metieron en el sitio, ¿para qué? 
para ver que se vean acabando, que se vea reagendado. Y así Ajá. ver, y así ver cuándo el concierto iba a ser re reagendado. Ajá. No, pues eso as, as. As. Ajá, como para ver que el concierto fue, ajá. Eh, nosotros fuimos rápidamente a la web para ver, ajá, algo así. No, so as to. So as to. No es solo as. No, porque as ya esto, eh, quiero ver. Ah, que sale tachado, es cierto. As, sí, no, yo creo que so as to. So as to. Mm -hmm. sí. Para ver cómo el concierto fue. Para ir a ver, ajá. Ajá. So as to. So as to see when the concert was rescheduled for. <clears throat> We read that the members of the band had expressed their disappointment. And the organizers had announced that all the people with a ticket could contact their ticket seller in order to, in order. In, in order. order. To. Uh -huh, in order. Porque ya tenés el tú ahí. In order to get a refund. Uh, ya tenemos a huevo. Alto. Le la puedo dar un poquito más para arriba para verlo de abajo. Ah, que Can la you pull, please, the, the screenshot. Mm. Uh -huh. so, scroll. Although they didn't inform. Mm. Aldo, creo que es Aldo. Number eight. Yeah. Creo que te falta una letra. Ajá. Y la G. GH. Although they didn't inform for a new date or for the concert, we were sure that it had been permanent permanently cancel so mm -hmm. so so we decided to ask uh -huh. so we decided, we decided to, ask to ask for a refund when we got our money back we read that the concert had been rescheduled for the following weekend <laughs> We immediately decided to buy the tickets again, but what felt? As, but only as. Solo as. Solo as. Bajalo. So as we did it as soon as we read it, see, as. As we did as soon as the we read, read the news, we were too late. The tickets were all sold out. Ah, la puchica. Nunca, nunca, no, nada. A ver, chequeen. A ver, ¿qué pasa? Salimos bien y nos exoneran. Exoneran del, del examen. Sí, ay, ¿por qué? Oye, otra vez. <laughs> Bueno, triple ocho. Eh, bien. Ajá, vamos a ver. Ah, no. Al revés. Ajá. Al revés. Ah. Mm, bueno, está bien. Sí, tres ocho. Sí. Como el otín, raspados. No, raspados. <ríe> Quizás hubiera sido un que seis, siete. Seis, un siete. Ah, pero ocho ah. Es, es muy bueno. Y ahí solo es que era como una, era como la de 
contras y otro era el resultado. Era como un poquito más de, de haber, estuvieron analizando bastante la lectura y este quizá estaba un poquito más complicado porque era un párrafo, entonces era una lectura que eran ideas conectadas, vea. No son oraciones que solo analizo las dos oraciones y ya. Analizo. Entonces, esta tenía un grado más de dificultad al ser un grupo de ideas conectadas. Así es que ese 8 es una medalla de oro. <ríe> Bien, entonces, solo un poquito más de, de, de quizás que fueron esas dos, que fue como el análisis y era como intercambiarlas, ¿vea? porque una era de contraste y la otra era la de eh, razón, ¿verdad? De consecuencia, el so. Entonces, a, a veces son bien fácilmente confundibles. Pero bueno, vamos a seguir practicando eh, ya con audios y con listening. Ahorita que ya practicamos bastante la gramática y mañana vamos a seguir con un poco más de este tema, si les parece. Ok. Uh -huh. Any question? Suggestion? It's and... okay so far. Ok. Mm, good. No questions, no suggestions. We can uh, move to the next thing and see you in the breakout room. No, Thank you so much, out of teacher. the breakout room. I'm going to check attendance. Bye. We still have Victor and Stephanie in the breakout rooms. We're going to check attendance and then we're going to continue uh, practicing uh, only the clauses of purpose. Let's see, because here, what is he, he is the last in the list. Okay, we're going to check attendance. Please say present when you hear your name and then we'll continue with our program for today. Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Present teacher. Alex Enrique Lemos. Present. Okay. Carlos Emilio Coto. Present teacher. Okay. Elizabeth Stephanie Vasquez. Present. Okay. Emerson Alexander López. Present teacher. Okay. Francisco Ernesto Acuña. Present teacher. Thank you. Gertrude Saimara Vaquerano. Guadalupe Alexandra Calixto. Present teacher. Present. Thank you, Aymara. Thank you, Alexandra. Hazel Vanessa. Present teacher. Thank you. José Enrique Pineda. Present teacher. Okay. Yulisa Yamilet y Alta. Carla Ivania Anaya. Present teacher. Okay. Luis Javier Castillo. Present. Miss. Okay, thank you. Miguel Sao García. Present teacher. Thank you. Manuel Alexander Vasquez. Present. Thank you. Marilyn Alejandra Grande. Present. Okay. Mario Ernesto Ramirez. Present. Present. Okay, thank you. Melanie Alexandra Martinez. Víctor Noé Bonilla. Present teacher. Thank you. Pide al Byron Ruiz. Present teacher. Thank you. 
William Alexander Rosales. Okay. Uh, let me see. Thank you, Anissa. Okay, to continue practicing then in your handout after the link, you have some uh, other exercises to continue practicing the linking words. Let me get you into the material so we can. Okay, to start, we have the snapshot and we have these um, this um, vocabulary about success stories, five of the world's most successful business. Uh, so we have the companies, the main product, and the facts. We have Coca-Cola, Sony, Levy, and Google, and Nestle. Who wants to read this chart? Volunteer? Volunteer to read the chart about the success stories. Me, teacher. Thank you so much, Alexandra. Okay, success so stories. Company, Coca-Cola. Main products, soft drinks, juice, and bottled waters. A fact, Coca-Cola is the best known English word in the world after OK. Sony, electronics, equipment, movies, and TVs. Some early products include tape recorders and rice cookers, levy straws, jeans, and casual clothing. The first jeans were made for men looking for gold in California. Google, internet-based products and services. Google comes from Google, which is the math term for the number one, followed by a thousand, thousand, right? 100. 1, I 100, sorry, zeros. Nestle, chocolate, chocolate, instant coffee, and bottled water. Nestle means little nest, which symbolizes security and family. Excellent. Very well. Thank you so much for reading, Alexandra. Yeah, interesting, right? I, I don't know a couple of these things. Uh, which of these products exist in our country all of them right all of them exist here in the country all of them are successful uh, can you think um, of three successful companies here in El Salvador and what do they produce besides Coca-Cola, Sony, maybe Google, Nestle can you think another three and what do they produce I'll give you time for you to write down your notes and then share.
Ready? Okay, what do you have? Can you mention one, two, or three successful companies here in El Salvador? I have one, Diana. And they produce um, chips, like snacks, cookies, and sandwich bread. What about you? What do you have? Yeah. Well, I got one. It's uh, a dog. A uh, dog. Uh -huh. Yeah, they act, they currently have a uh, they they exports uh, shoes in all Central America. There is in Guatemala, uh, Honduras, Costa Rica, and I think in Panama too. Okay, and they produce shoes. Shoes, only shoes. Most, most shoes, uh, wallets, and uh, purses. Mm hmm. Mm, I think only that. Uh, and belts and socks. No socks. No, Sh only shoes, wallets, and purses. Ah, oh, okay. All right, excellent. Thank you so much for sharing. Is there any other volunteer? What other company can you mention that is successful here in El Salvador? Besides Diana, Hosh Poppies, a dog? Only that? Well. We have a listening exercise then after that, uh, listen to the survey. What makes a business successful? Number the choices from one being the most popular and three being the least important. So one most important and three least important. So we're gonna do this and 
if you didn't print the material, you can do it in your notebook. I'll get, I'll give you time for you to get ready. And you can just write the numbers, number one, two, three, four, five, and six, so that you don't write all, the whole chart. It's going to take too, too long. And then uh, you have to write the numbers as you see here in the screen. So yeah, for example, number one, in order for a language school to succeed, it has to have a variety of classes, a convenient location, and expensive courses. One is the most important, two would be somewhat important, and three, least important. I'll give you time for you to write for the ones who didn't print the material and then I'm going to play the recording. Okay, I'll play the recording. I'm going to play it twice so that you can number the choices as she says. Let me hear it sound with you. Unit 12, The Right Stuff. Page 78, Exercise 2, Perspectives. Part A. Listen to the survey. What makes a business successful? Number the choices from 1, most important, to 3, least important. What makes a business successful? 1, most important. 2, somewhat important. 3, least important. 1. In order for a language school to succeed, it has to have a variety of classes, a convenient location, inexpensive courses. 2. To run a popular internet cafe, it's a good idea to have plenty of computers, good snacks and drinks, a fast connection, 3. In order to operate a successful movie theater, it has to have the latest movies, good snacks and drinks, big screens. 4. To establish a trendy restaurant, it's important to have fashionable servers, delicious food, good music. 5. For an athletic center to be profitable, it needs to have good trainers, modern exercise equipment, a variety of classes. 6. For a concert hall to be successful, it should have excellent acoustics, 
comfortable seats, affordable tickets. Okay, do you have any question about the vocabulary? No questions? Okay, if there are no questions about the vocabulary, I'm going to play the recording one more time and give you uh, a chance for you to rank them from one to three according to your opinion. Unit 12, The Right Stuff. Page 78, Exercise 2, Perspectives. Part A, Listen to the Survey. What makes a business successful? Number the choices from one, most important, to three, least important. What makes a business successful? One, most important. Two, somewhat important. Three, least important. One, in order for a language school to succeed, it has to have a variety of classes, a convenient location, inexpensive courses. 2. To run a popular internet cafe, it's a good idea to have plenty of computers, good snacks and drinks, a fast connection. 3. In order to operate a successful movie theater, it has to have the latest movies, good snacks and drinks, big screens. 4. To establish a trendy restaurant, it's important to have fashionable servers, delicious food, good music. 5. For an athletic center to be profitable, it needs to have good trainers, modern exercise equipment, a variety of classes. 6. For a concert hall to be successful, it should have excellent acoustics, comfortable seats, affordable tickets, Okay, I volunteer to share what's your opinion for number one. How did you rank them? Me, teacher. Thank you. Well, in the first, uh, in order to, in order for a language school to succeed, it has to have a uh, variety of classes for me. Mm -hmm. Number uh, two and three. Like, number two, to run a popular internet caf cafe, cafe, it's a good idea to have fast connection. Okay, so for you, in the number one, in order for a language school to succeed, it has to have a variety of classes as number one. Yes. And uh, second and third? The second, a fast connection. And the third, the latest movies. And the same one, the number one? By, by, by variety. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a variety. By variety. Of classes. Okay. For me, uh, it's, yes, first. Oh, number one, the most important is a variety of classes. Number two for me is a convenient location. And number three, inexpensive courses. As it is there. <laughs> what about you? What do you think? Mm, yeah, we, uh, well, in that order, maybe the first uh, variety of classes, second, inexpensive courses and three uh, convenient location convenient location okay 
And number two, to run a popular internet cafe, it's a good idea to have. So the you say one, number one? Mm -hmm. A fast connection. Uh huh. So um, number two? Number two, plenty of computers. And number two, good snacks and drinks. I totally agree with you. That's same for me. And number three? And number three, the latest movies. And well, good snacks and drinks, and the, the last one, the three big screens. Okay, mm -hmm. sounds that. yeah, uh, that's good. Um, number four, number four, uh, well, 20 restaurant. The first one, delicious food. And then the second, good music, and the three fashionable servers. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, yeah, same for me. Number five? Number five, uh, modern exercise equipment. The second, uh, good trainers. And the three, a variety of classes. Okay, that's different for me. For me, number one is a variety of classes, good trainers, and modern exercise equipment. I'm not very big, I'm more fashion. <laughs> and number six for you? Number six, well, affordable tickets, number one. The second, comfortable seats, and three, excellent acoustics. Well, wow, that's same for me. Thank you so much for sharing. Okay. Anybody else? Do you have anything different here? Do you think, uh, do you have different rankings here? Okay, let's move there. Okay. Well, the next is the grammar focus. Remember, we're studying the Clauses to describe purpose. This is what we're practicing. And in here, remember to describe purposes. Most of them, they are in infinitive with to. And also that we have in order to and for. In order for, those are part of the material that we're practicing with. Let's listen. Page 79, exercise four. Grammar focus. Describing purpose. Infinitive clauses. To run a popular internet cafe, it's a good idea to have plenty of computers. To establish a trendy restaurant, it's important to have fashionable servers. In order to establish a trendy restaurant, it's important to have fashionable servers. Infinitive clauses with for. For an athletic center to be profitable, it needs to have modern exercise equipment. For a language school to succeed, it has to have a convenient location. In order for a language school to succeed, it has to have a convenient location. Okay. And you have that exercise here in your PDF so that you can modify it. So we are uh, describing purposes with two and four, also with in order two or in order four. Remember that describe purpose is como decir el, el eh, por qué o para qué, right? So in this exercise in part A, we have to match each call with a suggestion and then practice the sentences uh, here. So for a health club to be, uh, to attract new people, what is the suggestion for that to happen? For a health club to attract new people, A, definitely no. Letter, letter E, it has to offer the latest equipment. 
Uh -huh. It has to offer the latest equipment. So remember, if you're working from the PDF, just grab the T, click here, and then you type in your answer. Okay. I'll give you okay. time for you to complete the rest, and then we're going to share the answer. Okay, uh, volunteer to share number two. Or oh, you need more time?
Okay, what do you have in number two? In order to run a profitable restaurant? Me, teacher. Okay. Okay, in order to run a pro profitable, I see a profitable. Profitable? A profitable restaurant. Uh, you need to hire a talented chef. A talented chef, okay. So there, that's there letter A. A, okay, good. And number three? To establish a successful dance club, letter D, it needs to have great music and lighting. That is correct. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Pardon. For a coffee bar to succeed, letter, letter, letter E. Ah, no, oh. no, a little B, sorry. It, it's a good idea to offer desserts too. That is correct. And the last one would be? Letter C. You need to keep up with the latest styles. Excellent. Thank you so much for sharing. And then... Uh, for part B, this is going to be individual. It says give another suggestion for each goal in part A. Uh, the goals are expressed, as you can see here, uh, the goals are expressed with, um, with a connector. And the suggestion is, well, the second clause here. The, uh, now, for example, for number one, for a health club to attract new people, the suggestion is letter E. It has to offer the latest equipment. What other suggestion can, can you give for a health for a health club to attract new people? For example, you say for a health club to attract new people, it needs to have or it needs to hire kind personnel. So you have to give another suggestion for each of the goals expressed in part A. It needs to to hire personal um, for cleaning. Uh huh. That is a good one. Now let us think in number two. In order to run a profitable restaurant. It need to be more, more, um, that word was in the first classes when we're talking about big spaces. Um, in the first large, class? Large, yeah, in the first class when we're talking about describing houses. Ah, yes. To, yeah, it, ha it has to have well a bigger, uh, bigger space. Okay, a big location. Big okay. location. Mm -hmm. And 
that sounds like a good uh, suggestion. The big space, it needs to be spacious. Spacious, that, that was. Okay. To establish a successful dance club. To establish a successful dance club, you need to hire a famous DJ. That is the one that I have. <laughs> what do you have? What suggestion do you have for number three? Could be has to promote to uh, to promote uh karaoke nights. Oh yes, karaoke nights sounds like a yes, a nice suggestion. And uh, let's see for a coffee bar to succeed. For a coffee bar to succeed. Should be a good idea to to sell uh, grains of coffee too. Not only liquid coffee, also in grains. Oh, yes. Or bags, a oh, little bags. Yes. Oh, sounds attractive. Now... The last one, to run a successful clothing boutique, you need to keep up with the latest styles and what else? Um, maybe maybe the boutique could, could invite some famous person related, related to fashion, fashion trending. Oh, yes, that sounds good. I think that they should offer a variety of sizes uh, and big sizes too. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're going to stop with this exercise. Tomorrow we will continue with connectors, practicing with speaking, listening, and also grammar. And remember to be on uh, early because tomorrow we're going to complete the satisfaction survey. Remember to work your exercises in the platform since tomorrow is the last day of classes and we, you will be finishing your model intermediate three. So I hope that you have a good night, a good sleep, and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye. Okay, bye. See you tomorrow. See you.